Okay, what we're going to look at now, really quickly, is just a nice way of putting. We just looked at a, a double in a triplet. So you got a sorry, not not the five stroke roll. It's the double in a triplet. What we're going to do quickly is just look at a really simple way of putting that into sixteenth. So if you play. Bit of extra tone to it. It's almost like a little fill you can think you put in because there's an urge to put fills in all the time as a drummer. I know I feel it as well. But you don't want to annoy the rest of the band because your bass player is the one who's going to give you that time to put the fills in. And if you're messing him around all the time, he's going to really, really amp the playing up and you won't have any time because there's only 100% that you and the bass player can play and you've got to share it, you know? So it's a nice way of putting that little fill in. Um, you can move it anywhere around the kit as well. So if you're. step up from this is a bit quicker. Now I would suggest that you go and look at our doubles video, or my doubles video for this, because it's going to be very, very important, because this is actually quite quick on the hand, quite hard on the right hand. What we're going to do is we're going to play that pattern instead of the 16s. So it goes something like this. Really, really, actually quite simple when you get that snap right. Get that thumb working over the finger, go and look at the doubles video, really get you nailed out. That pattern is great for if you're playing 60s. Really, really easy to do, doesn't annoy the rest of the band, really nice sound, good little shuffle as well. Enjoy that, work hard on it. Wait for that last groove. Don't rush to it because it will confuse you and it will give you some real problems. If you're having problems with any of this stuff, go and look at the doubles video. That will give you some help. Enjoy the groove.